Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and we are going to take a quick look at Manjaro's KDE Next Preview. Now, this is not a full review. Basically, basically what they've done with this KDE Next thing is it's a preview of what the, I guess you can think of it as the next generation of Manjaro is going to look like. And, and the big place where, where there's changes is with the installer. I mean, everything else, you know, there's newer packages, you know, K on KDE, we went from 5.3 to 5.4 and, you know, various other things where the, you know, we've updated the, the packages and whatnot, but the installer has received a lot of work and, uh, that is really the the big thing with this uh, with this preview. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up GNOME boxes and I'll kind of walk through the installation process with the new installer just so you can see what it what it looks like and and uh, changes and whatnot. Uh, I've got the blog post talking about the 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 KDE Next and I'll throw a link down below just so that uh, if you want to go and read through this yourself you can. But it talks about, you know, the, the various things that have been updated and whatnot. And, uh, you know, the biggest chunk of it is talking about Calamares, their, uh, their installer framework. So uh, some of the highlights, they've added the option of not installing a bootloader on the MBR, added the option of changing file system type when editing a partition, more robust uh, partition detecting, mounting, unmounting. This was something that I did see in previous versions of their installers is uh, sometimes the uh, the hard drive was not detected, uh, at least not correctly, all the partitions wouldn't be detected, uh, that sort of thing. So it's uh, there's been improvement there. Uh, swap partition support and automatic partitioning fixed an issue which could result in wrong mount point being set for swap adjusted the install page so the QML slideshow is loaded and and started exactly when the install operation starts improved branding mechanism with distribution branding option on the welcome page so all kinds of changes in the installer so uh, um, you know let's just get right to going through the install in GNOME boxes and uh, uh, you can take a look see what it looks like all right, here we are inside of GNOME boxes, and as you can see for this virtual machine, I have given it four gigabytes of RAM and 21 and a half gigs of memory, or not memory size, but disk space. So let's go and create this box, and here we go. Now, if you're not familiar with using a virtual machine, um, it does tend to lag and run a little bit slower than regular hardware. So as we go through the video, I will probably do some pausing and, and, and uh, you know, in sections where we're waiting stuff to just load up and that sort of thing, I'll probably uh, cut some of that, that out just so you're not just sitting here waiting, uh, you know, watching screens blink and, and whatnot. All right, so here we are. Our live installer is fired up and running, and as you can see, we still have the standard um, Manjaro welcome screen. And this is something that uh, you know more distros need to uh, need to follow their lead on. And uh, having a good um, welcome screen gives you links to you know the forums, chat rooms, uh, the home page, uh, the wiki, all that kind of stuff. But let's go and we will fire up the installer. And we'll go to the uh, live installer. And let's see, language is English. And uh, let's pick my region, which would be America, and New York's going to be my closest city here. Click next, 
and uh, looks like keyboard is uh, set correctly and then you'll give a, be given an option here you can erase the disk and install Manjaro 0.9 or you can do manual partitioning we'll just go with the standard installation it, I did the manual partitioning um, uh, when I did the actual installation on my uh, on my system and uh, you know everything worked great there uh, so we'll go and pick our drive obviously we've only got one to choose from since uh, since this is a virtual drive but uh, you know playing around with the installer on uh, on real hardware you know I found that it detected everything correctly on my system and so from here let's put in some info Log on name, name, choose a password. Yeah, that's a good name for the computer. Obviously, you could go and choose whatever you want. Uh, choose a password for the admin account. And uh, you can select whether you want to require password to log on or log in automatically. And then gives you a real nice summary of what you've set up so that you know you can review okay here's what I've done did I screw up somewhere um, let's see location good keyboard good partition and good uh, yep that all looks good just click next and boom let it uh, let it run through the installation alright here's what it looks like when we get to the end of the installation process and uh, you can go ahead and if you want to restart your system right away just click the restart now and then hit quick which is what we're going to do if you want to play around some more in the live environment you can go ahead and just click quit but we'll go ahead and we'll restart everything while we're while we're here take a look at uh, at what we got and there's our login and here we are well that is about it for this video uh, I realize it wasn't a full review mainly I just wanted to show the uh, the much improved installer and I will tell you that you know in, in previous versions of uh, of Manjaro I've sometimes had trouble with uh, with the installer not you know finding hard drives correctly and uh, you know just all kinds of little things um, you know I ran through it both in VirtualBox and on live hardware and everything went down flawlessly now I have found that Manjaro tends to be a little bit picky about your hardware um, and uh, so you know just because it worked perfectly on my system doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work exactly you know the same on your system just have to give it a try but uh, you know at least from what I've seen so far it looks like the installer is greatly improved compared to previous versions so uh, uh, you know when the whole uh, 0.9 series of Manjaro comes out it's something to look forward to that installer uh, you know much improved so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video give us a big old thumbs up if you liked it and uh, if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I will see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot.